Hi, today I want to talk to you about something. Can you run a 110 dryer off of an inverter generator? Now we have a 2.6 cubic foot dryer. It just came in. Unfortunately, FedEx left it at the wrong door. Again, here is the dryer. It's a Magic Chef 2.6 cubic foot. I have no idea what this stuff is. It was inside. Um, the dryer. Here's the back. I to hook up a hose, some screws. All right. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start my inverter generator. And I apologize for the noise up front. Uh, this is really gonna be kind of loud. You have to excuse me on this. I already got the top open. <laughs> Let's make sure economy mode is off. Nope, it's on. We want off. Alright, this is approximately 30 feet, 25, 30 feet away. As you can tell. Let's get the cord in here so you know it is running off of my inverter generator. Now let's see. I'm not used to this. Alright, looks like sensory dries off. Eco mode is off. From what I understand, these dryers take anywhere from 12 to 15 amps. So, while I was drying clothes, or will be drying clothes, nothing else would be ran. Um, from what I understand also, it takes approximately two hours for these to dry a load. As you can see, it's not very big. What I would do is I'm going to run in the house real quick. I apologize, give me a second, I'm going to grab my tape measure. I'm going to set the camera down. I apologize for that. Yeah, this is going to be real hard to do with one hand, so let's do it this way. It is approximately 23 and a half inches across the front. Fifteen inches. I apologize if you can't see this. I can't see on the screen with this camera from front to back, but take into account if you're going to set this up, take into account another six inches out the back. If you want to hook this elbow up back here. I can feel the warm air coming out. It's running without an issue. And let's see how tall is this. From the porch to the top is 27 and a half inches. So you can see it's not very big. Um, let me get back some so you can see how big it is. You can tell it's not that big. It's working just fine. Um, I don't have anything I can set next to it to compare the size, unfortunately. But I hope you can hear me on the dimensions. But this will 100% tell you if an inverter generator can run this dryer. Now, it is running just fine. I'm going to set the generator on eco mode and see what it does. It will probably kill it. Okay, on eco mode, it's still on full throttle.
So it takes quite a bit to pull this dryer. But, there we go. And it has little bitty handles on the sides. Uh, I, I apologize if you can't really see this. And once again, I have no clue what these are for. Uh, and there's one over here. Uh, my glasses are not the best in the world right now. But, it says it draws 1400 watts. It's 48.4 pounds. Unfortunately, it doesn't tell the amount of amperage it draws. Like I say, from what I found out, these draw between 12 and 15. So, if you want to go off grid and wash and dry clothes, can you do it? Yeah, if you have a generator like mine. I have the Pulsar 2300 watt, which is, uh, I believe, 1800 watt running capacity, which will handle this dryer just fine. In fact, with the wash machine I have, it may actually run them both at the same time. I do not want to test that theory. <laughs> I probably could, but I don't have to wash clothes today. Um, so I wanted you to see it actually see an inverter generator running a 110 dryer magic chef 2.6 cubic foot like i said we just got this today fedex of course left it at the wrong door as usual so i gave the maintenance man the tip i was going to give the fedex driver um i'm waiting on no excuse me another delivery today Two 30 pound propane tanks is coming from UPS. I do have ten dollars for that driver if they bring it to my door, which they hardly ever do. So, you know, I have looked and looked and looked all over YouTube to see if an inverter generator could run a 110 dryer. I have found absolutely nothing, and when I say nothing, I mean nothing. So I figured, you know what, if you want to go off grid, you need to wash and dry clothes, and you have a generator about like this, or even one weaker, a 2,000 watt generator. This says 1,400 watts. Um, watch your amperage though. I would go nothing less than a 12, 13 amp generator to be on the safe side. And you can still see on the door, there's some uh, styrofoam on there. It's warming up. So, this answered the question, can an inverter generator, can you wash clothes, can you run a washer and a dryer, yes you can, and let's get midnight, uh, I know he's over there somewhere, unfortunately I can't really see out of the screen, um, it, it's just so bright out here, and the reason I'm doing this outside is my video camera stinks in the house all right this is an inverter generator a pulsar 2300 watt now we paid less than 400 dollars for this generator i do have uh, gas in here that has the ethanol removed this is the exact same gas that i put in here to break in the generator and test other things like the microwave so i have not added any more fuel to this um this should work perfect. It's a, it's a good little bitty unit, good little size. So, if you want to wash and dry clothes off grid, you need to do it with a generator. This is a nice generator to do it with. It's not super loud as you can tell. And it's going. So, that's this video. I appreciate everybody that watches. Thanks, and everyone have a good day. Bye.